Welcome back to the Seeking for the Truth YouTube channel. In this video we'll cover the topic of baptism and show the distinct teachings on baptism between Pastor Gino Jennings and Joel Osteen. In the audio excerpt of Joel Osteen you will hear him encourage his viewers to say the sinner's prayer. Although I believe if you call upon the name of the Lord you shall be saved, we have to take into consideration all other scriptures in totality to understand what God expects of us. As you will see in the excerpt of Gino Jennings answering a question from a viewer's letter, where the viewer asked a question about baptism which ties into the topic of this video. Jennings affirmed that baptism is one of the many essential acts that a believer should do in order for their sins to be remitted. He went on to dismantle some of the unscriptural methods that the churches have been using to baptize many sincere believers. Gino Jennings substantiated each of his points on how to be baptized correctly in order to be in line with the scriptures. We will first listen to Joel Osteen's method and thereafter we will dive into the excerpt of Gino Jennings skillfully tackling the baptism topic. Let's begin. Let me ask you an important question. If your heart stopped beating in the next few minutes, are you at peace with God? Do you know where you'd spend eternity? If not, I would love to have the opportunity to pray with you. I'm not here to condemn anybody, but rather to help you find a new beginning. And I know that comes through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Why don't you pray with me today? Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Wash me clean. I make you my Lord and Savior. Friend, if you prayed that simple prayer, we believe you got born again. The scripture says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's just what you did. One more question, Gary. Just one more. All right. All right. This is from Xenia. It says, people that are not baptized according to Acts 2.38, yes, is serving God wholeheartedly and manifest the same gifts of the Spirit. Where will their souls go? Where will the souls of these people go? And why some won't accept Acts 2.38? Do you think both sets of Christians should worship together? Continue to pray for me and my family. Thank you very much. We need help. All right, that's enough of that. First and foremost, writer, there is no such thing as both sets of Christians. No. God only has one church. One, that's right. God only has one people. One people. There is no both sets of Christians. What? For as the body is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's First Corinthians 12 and verse 12. What? For as the body is Two. one. Two. The body is one. You better read that right now. Wipe your glasses off. Read that right. For as the body is one. Do you hear that, viewer? Amen. As the body is one, one not one. two sets of Christians. That's right. But what? And as many members. And? All the members of that one body, being many, are one body. The reason why people reject Acts 2.38 mm -hmm. is because they've been falsely doctrinated. That's right. Misunderstanding what Jesus told his disciples That's in right. Matthew 28, 19. 28, 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The preacher quoted wrong. Yeah. He said, Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Jesus didn't say that. Go ye therefore. Listen at Matthew 20 and 19, the Great Commission. Go ye therefore. And teach all nations. Teach everybody. Baptizing them How? In, in the name of the Father. And, and of the Son. And, and of the Holy Ghost. I'm a father. Mm -hmm. I'm a son. I'm a husband. I'm a preacher. I'm a fighter. Right. I'm a boxer. I'm a crippler. I'm a murderer. I have all those titles. That's right. But if I tell you to do something in my name, you're going to put Jennings down there. That's right. Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, the Father. and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. That's right. But there's one name. That's it. Just like my name is one, Jennings, mm -hmm. but I'm a father, son, husband. Mm -hmm. Father, son, husband. Three titles. To who? One Jennings. That's right. God, here you have three titles. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. They didn't say it's three distinct persons in the Godhead. No. And you liars, the book didn't say that's a trinity. No, it didn't. Trinity have never been in the Bible. That's right. Liar. That's right. That's right. God bears the title 
Father. Father. What you mean, Father? The originator of all things. That's right. The creator. Yes, Lord of the world. Mm -hmm. Master of the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. God of the universe. Son. son. The title son is placed upon the Messiah because that body was the image, the shape, and the form that God dwelled in, and it took on God's name. That's right. That's why he said, I come in my father's name. Father's name. God was in that body. That's right. It is written to wit, God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world unto himself. That's it. Holy Ghost is the title of God, showing the function of God. He's identified as a keeper or comforter. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So the title, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, those three titles, is connected to one name. That's, it. That's why he says, baptize in the name of. So in Matthew 28, 19, there was no baptism being performed. No. They was told what to do. In mm -hmm. Acts 2.38, it was fulfilled when it was done. That's right. Listen. Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Peter said unto them, repent. Bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ as your personal savior. Repent. Pray a sinner's prayer. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's what you folk do here in Jamaica. That's right. Many of you. Preachers say, make an altar call, pray a sinner's prayer, and you liars come up. Holding the hand of your smoking reverend. That's right. You hold his hand. Dear Lord, I'm a sinner. sinner. Save me. <laughs> Cleanse me. Wash me. White as snow. Mm -hmm. Then the preacher said, Go on. He's a Christian, my friend. You ain't nothing. That's right. You ain't born again. born again. When you say wash, you got to have water. That's right. You got no dry clean religion. That's right. Oh, dry clean. And it still ain't got the stain of sin out of you. Amen. Prayer sinners. Peter said what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. He's no, join the church. Repent. The hour of decision. Repent. I open the church doors. And whoever want a home, I give you a home. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Amen. Touch the television and let God come into your heart. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Hold the preacher's hand and let God come in your heart. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You see all this hypocrisy out here? That's right. If you haven't obeyed what he's about to read, mm -hmm. you're nobody's Christian. You have never, if you bow your head and raise your hand, you ain't never been born again. Mm -hmm. If you've been sprinkled in a Catholic church, you have never been born again. Right. If you join some church, you ain't never been born again. If you pray the sinner's prayer that don't even exist in the Bible, you ain't never been born again. That's right. You've been duped, you've been conned, you've been bamboozled, led astray. You've been deceived. Amen. Listen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And what? And be baptized. Be and what? Be baptized. How much? Every one of you. That got your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunt, including your pastor. Every one of you. Every one of you? How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Not just Jesus' name. That's right. Not be baptized in Jesus' name. No, no. Like we explained last night, there's more than one Jesus. That's right. There's only one Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The Apostle Peter said what? And repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. Washed away. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. television viewers. Amen. If you want your sins washed away, your whole body, you got to repent. That's it. You got to repent of all the wrong you've done. You ain't got to repent to me. You know what you've been doing, don't you? Don't you know what you've been doing, Jamaica? Yes, sir. The dancing, the partying, the drinking, the living together, not married, the fornicating and all that type of stuff. Going to clubs, hair just wilding, popping your fingers, doing your thing. <laughs> yes, you know. Amen. Out there jumping around like a wild animal. That's right. You got to repent for that conduct. And then after you truly repent from your heart, mm -hmm. repentance, you feel remorse about your wrong. It is not just saying I'm sorry, but you feel it. You're remorse about your wrong. Then afterward, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. For the remission of sins, meaning to have your sins washed away or removed. Mm -hmm. Then afterward, you must take your time and seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the evidence of speaking in tongues. 
if you don't know what the preacher said when you were baptized, yeah. I advise you to go back. That's right. You don't want to walk around assuming you were baptized right. That's right. No. Oh, no. Uh, this, this is too dangerous to assume. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the right baptism, mm -hmm. be baptized, baptized. today. Amen. Jamaica got plenty of water. What's the name of that body of water out here? What is it? What is that water that where the beach is? Who is it? Portmore, whatever the body of water that's around around here, the Caribbean, whatever it is. Who? Haitia Beach. Well, I know it's water all over the place around here. Beautiful blue, beautiful green. Amen. That's right. I have baptized people in the Indian Ocean. I have broke ice in the wintertime. The baptized people. And believe me, it wasn't fun. <laughs> I remember when folk come to me be baptized in the wintertime and the river was frozen. I said, you sure you want to be baptized? <laughs> he said, yeah, Pastor Jenner, we want to be baptized. You know, I, I, I had to repent because I actually tried to get out of it. I said, well, and I didn't lie because we didn't have no changing clothes there. I said, well, we ain't got no changing clothes for you to change in. He broke his clothes open like Superman. Boom. He said, I got my clothes on right under me. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> we had the brick ice. Amen. I didn't have no boots. Mm. I ain't had no boots and no winter clothing. I had paper thin paint mm. and a shirt with no t-shirt on under it. Freezing. Mm. Baptizing this fella in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> then, then after you baptize him, he backslid. Making me go out there in that water. <laughs> you gotta save your soul. That's right. You got one soul, young, middle aged, and old. You have one soul. Mm -hmm. And you want to try to save yourself, as Peter stressed. That's right. On the day of Pentecost, he says, Save yourself. From this untoward generation. Saving yourself. You're not waiting on your friends, you're not waiting on your mother, you're not waiting on your father. You're not waiting on to see what this one going to do or that one going to do. Save yourself. yourself. Anyone here that have never was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but you didn't repent. Right. That baptism still is no good. That's right. Because the scripture plainly states. Repent. 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 You got to you got to be sorry about your wrong. That's right. Not only that, Jesus said in the time of this ignorance, God winked at. But now he commanded all men everywhere. <laughs> To repent. You must be sorry about your wrong. After you repent, then it is a divine requirement to be baptized in water. Your whole body covered. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all in Jesus' name. No. Not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. That's right. Not simply in Jesus' name. That's right. The preacher must baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what, that's what Pastor Peter preached. Mm -hmm. Or... The words of the Apostle Paul in the name of the Lord Jesus. Not Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. None of that. No, no. It is written in Colossians 3.17. Whatsoever you do in word and deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for listening.